Could the entire universe actually be a massive black hole? This has been a thought-provoking question for scientists and thinkers for centuries. Recent advancements in technology might finally shed some light on this intriguing idea. In this documentary, we'll delve into this exploration together and seek answers to some of the deepest questions about our universe and our place within it. Think of the universe like a grand tapestry woven with galaxies, stars and planets, all held together by the fundamental laws of nature. At the center of some of the most awe-inspiring cosmic events lies an entity that both fascinates and mystifies us, the black hole. These cosmic giants are regions where gravity's grip is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape once it passes a certain point called the event horizon. Despite being invisible to us, their presence is detectable through the profound influence they exert on their surroundings. The idea of black holes isn't just a recent discovery, it's a culmination of observations and our understanding of physics. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, massive objects can distort the fabric of space-time itself. When a star several times the mass of our Sun burns through its nuclear fuel, it can implode under its own gravity, forming what's known as a singularity, an infinitely dense point in space. Encircling this singularity, the event horizon acts as a boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. This intense gravitational pull doesn't just affect matter, it also bends the path of light itself, leading to intriguing phenomena like gravitational lensing. This occurs when light from stars situated behind a black hole is curved around it, resulting in rings of light or even multiple images of the same star. Astronomers have observed this effect, providing valuable insights into the nature of these enigmatic cosmic objects. Black holes come in various sizes, ranging from small stellar mass ones only a few times the mass of our Sun, to supermassive ones found at the centers of galaxies, including our Milky Way. These supermassive black holes can weigh millions to billions of times more than the Sun and significantly shape the evolution of galaxies. Their immense gravitational pull influences the movements of stars within galaxies, and as they consume matter, they emit powerful radiation detectable across vast distances. Studying black holes goes beyond exploring the cosmos. It pushes the boundaries of our understanding of physics. They serve as natural laboratories for extreme physics, where gravity is so intense that it challenges our fundamental theories about the universe. The recent detection of gravitational waves caused by black hole collisions has provided a fresh perspective on this mysterious aspect of the universe. It offers insights into gravity, how matter behaves under extreme conditions, and even the fabric of space-time itself. Now let's delve into how black holes form. Typically, they originate from the dramatic collapse of massive stars. Over millions of years, these stars, much larger than our Sun, burn through their nuclear fuel, balancing the overwhelming gravitational forces. However, when fuel runs out, gravity wins, leading to a stellar collapse. For stars up to three times the mass of the Sun, this results in dense remnants called neutron stars. But for heavier stars, the collapse is more intense, forming a singularity, a point of infinite density, at the core. According to our current understanding, this singularity is the core of a black hole, enclosed by the event horizon, where nothing, not even light, can escape. These processes aren't just theoretical. Astronomers observe the universe for evidence of such events, using advanced telescopes to detect the radiation emitted during a star's demise and the birth of a black hole. These observations not only confirm the existence of black holes, but also offer valuable insights into their characteristics and behaviors. Black holes can form in various ways beyond just the collapse of stars. Theoretical physics suggests a couple of scenarios one is the direct collapse of a gas cloud under specific conditions, skipping the star phase altogether. Another possibility is the merging of neutron stars, which produces gravitational waves detectable by instruments like LIGO and Virgo, offering a new method to explore the universe. Quick reminder to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you've enjoyed it so far. Let's continue. These black holes come in different sizes. 
Stellar black holes, which form from collapsing individual stars, are just one type. Then, there are supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies, including our Milky Way. They can be millions to billions of times more massive than our Sun. The origin of these supermassive black holes is still under scrutiny. Some theories suggest they formed from colossal gas clouds collapsing in the early universe, while others propose they grew from smaller black holes merging and accumulating matter over eons. Fundamentally, black holes are characterized by three main attributes, mass, spin, and charge. Mass determines the gravitational pull of a black hole, akin to how the sun's gravity governs planetary orbits. However, a black hole's gravity is so intense that beyond a certain point called the event horizon, not even light can escape making the black hole invisible and marking the boundary between known physics and the unknown. The spin of a black hole, another crucial trait, refers to its rotation. Black holes can spin at speeds close to the speed of light, affecting the space around them. This rotation twists space-time, as predicted by Einstein's general relativity, and profoundly influences the behavior of matter nearby. It also impacts how a black hole interacts with its surroundings, including how it pulls in matter and emits jets observed extending from some black holes. Charge, the least understood and most mysterious characteristic of black holes, refers to their electric charge. In theory, black holes can have positive, negative or no charge at all. However, most observed black holes are believed to have minimal or zero charge because they quickly attract oppositely charged particles from their surroundings, neutralizing any initial charge they may have had. Apart from these fundamental traits, black holes display behavior that challenges our comprehension of physics. For instance, at the center of a black hole lies the singularity, a point where density and gravity theoretically become infinite and conventional physics breaks down. The event horizon, marking the boundary beyond which light cannot escape, indicates the point where the black hole's gravitational force becomes overwhelming. It's not a tangible surface, but rather a region in space denoting the irreversible threshold for matter and light. Studying black holes also sheds light on their interactions with the surrounding environment. As matter spirals into a black hole, it heats up and emits X-rays, enabling astronomers to detect and analyze black holes despite their invisibility. Additionally, the gravitational effects of black holes on nearby stars and gas clouds offer insights into their presence and characteristics, aiding scientists in mapping their locations and estimating their masses. The question of whether anything can escape a black hole delves into the outer limits of our understanding of the universe. Traditionally, black holes have been viewed as cosmic traps from which even light, the fastest entity, cannot escape once it crosses the event horizon. This boundary represents the point of no return and is crucial in defining black holes. However, the narrative doesn't stop there. Thanks to the groundbreaking work of physicists like Stephen Hawking, the concept of Hawking radiation has been introduced. A theoretical notion suggesting that black holes are not entirely devoid of emissions but can release small amounts of thermal radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This radiation implies that black holes can gradually lose mass over time, slowly evaporating into nothingness. The process is exceedingly slow for black holes of stellar mass or larger, taking much longer than the current age of the universe to have any noticeable impact. For a black hole with the mass of the Sun, the time it would take to completely evaporate is many orders of magnitude longer than the universe's age. The existence of Hawking radiation bridges the realms of quantum mechanics and general relativity, two foundational principles of modern physics that are notoriously challenging to reconcile. It's proposed that under specific circumstances, particles can break free from a black hole's grip, although in a vastly altered state from their original form. This quantum effect, while not enabling traditional escape, no spacecraft or signal crossing the event horizon could ever return, presents a nuanced perspective of black holes as dynamic entities rather than mere bottomless pits. The implications of Hawking radiation go beyond just the chance of departure from a black hole. They delve into fundamental inquiries about information preservation and loss in the universe. According to quantum theory, 
Information such as a particle's physical state can't be destroyed, yet the apparent engulfment of information by black holes poses a dilemma. Hawking radiation offers a potential solution, suggesting that information might be encoded within this radiation, albeit in a form nearly impossible to decode. The event horizon of a black hole serves as a captivating and pivotal boundary, marking a point of no return where nothing, matter or light, can break free from the black hole's gravitational clutches. This invisible threshold encircles the singularity, the core of mass in the black hole, and separates the observable universe from the enigmatic interior of a black hole. To grasp the concept of the event horizon, envision it as the ultimate limit where the gravitational force is so intense that the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light, about 299,792,458 meters per second. Black holes vary greatly in mass, leading to vastly different event horizon sizes. For instance, a black hole formed from the collapsed core of a massive star might have an event horizon only a few kilometers wide, while a supermassive black hole, like the one in the heart of the Milky Way galaxy, boasts an event horizon spanning millions of kilometers. The idea of the event horizon isn't just a theoretical puzzle. It holds practical implications for our comprehension of the universe. How matter and energy behave near this boundary offers insights into physics under extreme conditions. For example, as matter spirals into a black hole, it speeds up and heats up, emitting detectable X-rays and other radiation. This emission allows scientists to infer the presence of black holes and estimate their properties like mass and spin, Additionally, studying the event horizon challenges and deepens our understanding of space and time. According to general relativity, time itself appears to slow down as one approaches the event horizon. This has intriguing implications. For instance, from the viewpoint of an outside observer, someone falling into a black hole might seem to take an infinite amount of time to reach the event horizon, while for the falling individual, it could be a finite journey. Detecting black holes poses a unique challenge for astronomers due to their invisibility. However, scientists have devised clever methods to indirectly detect them and learn about their characteristics. One approach involves observing how a black hole affects its surroundings. When a black hole pulls in nearby material, it accelerates and heats it, emitting detectable X-rays and other radiation. This radiation originates from the accretion disk, a swirling ring of matter around the black hole. The strong gravitational pull of a black hole influences the movement of nearby stars and gas clouds. Astronomers can track these motions using advanced telescopes and instruments, calculating the mass of the unseen object causing these effects. In some cases, the orbits of stars around an invisible mass indicate the presence of a black hole, with their speeds revealing its mass. Another innovative method involves detecting gravitational waves, ripples in space-time generated by cataclysmic cosmic events such as black hole collisions. Instruments like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo have picked up gravitational waves which offer a fresh perspective on the cosmos and serve as evidence of black holes. These detections not only verify the existence of pairs of black holes, but also furnish data about their sizes and how they merge. Moreover, there's a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, where a black hole bends light, potentially revealing its presence. This bending can cause distant stars or galaxies to appear magnified or distorted, forming rings of light known as Einstein rings. By studying these distortions, astronomers can infer the mass and location of the black hole causing the lensing. A significant breakthrough in confirming supermassive black holes came from the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a network of radio telescopes worldwide. The EHT captured the first ever image of a black hole's event horizon, a dark region encircled by a luminous accretion disk. This milestone was achieved by pooling data from various radio observatories, effectively creating a telescope the size of Earth. The target was the black hole at the heart of the galaxy M87, situated approximately 55 million light-years away. This image provided tangible proof of supermassive black holes, 
and offered crucial insights into their characteristics and the workings of gravity. As for the smallest black holes, they're typically stellar mass, ranging from about five to several tens of times the mass of our Sun. However, the discovery of what might be the tiniest known black hole adds complexity to this picture. This black hole, identified through its gravitational influence on a neighboring star, has an estimated mass only about 3.3 times that of our Sun. This finding challenges existing theories on the lower limit for black hole formation after a star's collapse following fuel depletion. A small black hole like this offers significant insights into stellar death and the formation of compact objects in the universe. It sits at the crossroads between neutron stars, dense remnants of collapsed stars that aren't massive enough to become black holes, and actual black holes. This unique position gives scientists a valuable chance to scrutinize extreme states of matter and gravity. Pinpointing the exact size or mass of this black hole involves observing the dynamics of its surroundings, such as the orbit of its companion star and the X-rays emitted as material is pulled from the star and heated in the accretion disk around the black hole. These observations help astronomers deduce the black hole's mass and consequently the size of its event horizon. On the other end of the scale, the largest black holes known reside at the cores of galaxies, including our Milky Way. These supermassive black holes can weigh millions to billions of times more than our Sun. The title for the largest known black hole sometimes shifts as new observations come to light. One notable contender is the black hole in the galaxy Abel 85, harboring a black hole with a mass estimated at around 40 billion times that of the Sun. The event horizon of this black hole, the point of no return due to its gravitational pull, would stretch over an immense distance, encompassing the orbits of all the planets in our solar system and beyond. These supermassive black holes aren't just cosmic landmarks. They wield considerable influence over their surroundings, shaping the formation and evolution of galaxies. Their immense gravitational force can attract vast amounts of gas and dust forming an accretion disk around the black hole where material reaches incredibly high temperatures, emitting radiation detectable across vast cosmic distances. The discovery and examination of these supermassive black holes are revolutionizing our comprehension of the cosmos, stretching the boundaries of our current understanding of physics. They act as vast laboratories in space, enabling scientists to delve into fundamental queries concerning gravity's essence, the structure of space-time and the eventual destiny of our universe. Let's delve deeper into singularities. As mentioned earlier, a singularity represents a pinpoint in space where matter density and gravitational force are believed to reach infinite levels. This implies that within the singularity, the familiar laws of physics no longer operate in the same manner, ushering in a realm of uncertainties. When a massive star undergoes gravitational collapse at the culmination of its life cycle, provided its mass is sufficient, it can spawn a black hole. The star's core shrinks into an infinitesimal point, the singularity, where all the black hole's mass is concentrated. The extreme concentration of mass in such a minuscule space generates a gravitational field so potent that even light cannot escape, delineating the black hole's event horizon. The concept of the singularity originates from general relativity, Albert Einstein's theory portraying gravity as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Nonetheless, the existence of singularities pushes general relativity to its extremes, suggesting junctures where space-time curvature becomes infinite. Scientists posit that comprehending singularities in their entirety necessitates a theory of quantum gravity which would amalgamate general relativity with quantum mechanics, the framework governing particle behavior on the tiniest scales. The way time behaves near a black hole stands as one of the most captivating subjects in modern physics, unveiling the profound impacts of extreme gravity on the very fabric of space-time. According to Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity manifests as the bending of space-time by mass and energy, this bending influences not just how objects move through space, but also alters the flow of time itself. In the vicinity of a black hole, where gravity intensifies dramatically due to the concentration of mass in an incredibly compact space, 
time behaves in manners that challenge our everyday experiences. As one approaches the event horizon of a black hole, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, the gravitational pull amplifies to such an extent that time begins to slow down compared to an observer situated far from the black hole. This phenomenon is termed gravitational time dilation. From the viewpoint of an observer positioned at a safe distance, objects nearing the event horizon appear to decelerate, taking longer intervals to carry out actions like descending into the black hole. Theoretically, as an object approaches the event horizon, it would seem to freeze in time from the perspective of a distant observer, never quite crossing the threshold. For an individual or object plunging into a black hole, the experience differs significantly. According to general relativity, if you were to descend toward a black hole, you would perceive your own clock ticking normally relative to your immediate surroundings. However, as you gaze outward, the universe surrounding you would seem to accelerate due to the same gravitational time dilation effects. As you draw closer to the event horizon, you would theoretically witness the external universe aging rapidly. As you near the singularity, the center of a black hole where density becomes infinite, these effects intensify, leading to predictions that within the event horizon, our conventional notions of space and time might no longer hold true in the same manner. However, these predictions stem from our current grasp of physics, which blends general relativity for the large-scale universe with quantum mechanics for the minuscule realm. Yet these two theories have yet to completely harmonize, particularly in scenarios of intense gravity, like those near black holes. This inconsistency underscores one of the most significant enigmas in physics, the pursuit of a theory of quantum gravity capable of elucidating how space-time behaves under the extreme conditions near black holes. Now, let's explore the diverse array of black holes. Black holes aren't a uniform phenomenon. They manifest in various types, each distinguished by its formation process and mass. These categories encompass the relatively modest stellar mass black holes to the staggering supermassive black holes located at the cores of galaxies. Furthermore, there's an intermediate group known as intermediate mass black holes, alongside a theoretical category called primordial black holes, hypothesized to have originated shortly after the Big Bang. Stellar mass black holes constitute the most prevalent type, typically emerging from the remnants of a massive star that has completed its life cycle, these black holes form following a catastrophic collapse triggered by the depletion of nuclear fuel, culminating in a supernova explosion. If the remaining mass is approximately 5 to 20 times that of our Sun, a black hole can ensue. These black holes are dispersed throughout galaxies, often encountered in binary systems where they can accrete matter from a companion star. Intermediate mass black holes pose a more mysterious presence, with masses ranging from 100 to several hundred thousand times that of our Sun. They potentially bridge the gap between stellar mass and supermassive black holes, yet their origins remain less clear. Some theories propose they might arise from the merger of smaller black holes or from the collapse of vast clouds of gas in the early universe. On the contrary, supermassive black holes are colossal giants with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of the Sun. They inhabit the cores of nearly all large galaxies, including our Milky Way. The genesis of supermassive black holes is still under intense scrutiny and debate. One theory posits they may evolve from smaller black holes accumulating mass over billions of years, while another suggests they form directly from massive gas clouds collapsing under their own gravity in the early universe. Primordial black holes, though theoretical, are presumed to be the smallest variety, potentially as minute as a single atom, but boasting the mass of a vast mountain. These speculative entities are theorized to have emerged in the high-density conditions shortly after the Big Bang, stemming from fluctuations in the universe's density at that epoch. Primordial black holes could vary widely in mass, from a fraction of the Sun's mass to many times more. Now let's ponder the role of quantum mechanics in unraveling the mysteries of black holes. Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics delving into particle behavior at the tiniest scales, profoundly shapes our comprehension of black holes, 
entities traditionally elucidated by the framework of general relativity. The convergence of these two fundamental theories opens up a captivating frontier in physics, particularly regarding how quantum mechanics influences our understanding of events at and near the event horizon of a black hole, as well as the destiny of information that plunges into a black hole. One of quantum mechanics' significant contributions to understanding black holes lies in the concept of Hawking radiation, conceived by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. According to this theory, black holes aren't entirely dark, but emit radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This radiation arises from pairs of virtual particles continually popping in and out of existence in the vacuum of space. Typically, these particle pairs annihilate each other almost instantly, However, if one particle falls into the black hole while the other escapes, the latter can become real and be detected as radiation. Hawking radiation proposes that black holes can lose mass over time, suggesting they might eventually evaporate completely. This process bridges the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, offering a quantum mechanical explanation for a phenomenon occurring in a realm governed by gravity. Another critical juncture where quantum mechanics intersects with black hole studies is the information paradox. This quandary arises from the fate of information about the physical state of objects entering a black hole. According to quantum mechanics, information cannot vanish. Yet traditional black hole theory implies that anything crossing the event horizon disappears from the universe's external perspective, sparking debates about whether information is lost in this process. Resolving this paradox hinges on devising a theory that seamlessly blends quantum mechanics with general relativity, underscoring the necessity for a theory of quantum gravity capable of fully delineating space-time and matter behavior under the extreme conditions near black holes. The role of quantum mechanics in comprehending black holes is pivotal, shedding light on the fundamental nature of reality. It hints that the universe's fabric at its most extreme integrates both the curved space-time of relativity and the probabilistic realm of quantum mechanics. Researchers actively explore theories such as string theory and loop quantum gravity as potential frameworks to unify these cornerstones of modern physics, offering a more comprehensive understanding of black hole mechanics and their influence on the universe's structure. Through the lens of quantum mechanics, Black holes emerge as intricate entities challenging our comprehension of the universe's core principles, compelling scientists to reassess the essence of space-time and matter. Now let's explore a perplexing mystery. Could we theoretically endure entering a black hole? The prospect of surviving such a journey pushes the boundaries of our current comprehension of physics, delving into the realm of theoretical conjecture grounded in our existing scientific knowledge notably the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Surviving a voyage into a black hole seems exceedingly unlikely given the extreme conditions involved. Nonetheless, for the sake of intellectual exploration and theoretical intrigue, scientists have contemplated scenarios that could, hypothetically, permit survival under specific circumstances. One theoretical avenue involves a particular type of black hole called a supermassive black hole. These giants, nestled at the hearts of galaxies, boast vast event horizons and mass, resulting in less severe tidal forces at their thresholds compared to smaller stellar mass black holes. In theory, this suggests that an object or individual could traverse the event horizon of a supermassive black hole without immediate disintegration by tidal forces. However, once inside, escape becomes impossible due to the black hole's overwhelming gravity, subjecting the traveler to extreme tidal forces as they near the singularity. Another theoretical concept posits the existence of Kerr black holes, rotating variants that, according to certain solutions of Einstein's equations, might harbor regions called ergo horizons. These zones could, theoretically, permit entry without instantaneous destruction by gravitational forces. Some hypotheses even propose stable orbits or passages to other regions of the cosmos or alternate universes often dubbed wormholes. Nevertheless, these notions remain speculative, grounded in mathematical constructs that may not reflect physical reality. 
Quantum effects are anticipated to exert a significant influence near these horizons, potentially destabilizing them and rendering survival or transit improbable. It's essential to acknowledge that these scenarios are deeply theoretical, hinging on conditions and physics that remain poorly understood or unproven. The intense gravitational gradients near and within black holes, coupled with the enigmatic behavior of matter at such scales, render survival a highly speculative proposition. Furthermore, the concept of information loss and the dissolution of established physical laws within a singularity introduce additional layers of complexity to the question of survival. Let's explore a different topic, the information paradox associated with black holes. This enigma resides at the juncture of quantum mechanics and general relativity, challenging our grasp of the universe's fundamental principles. The paradox emerges from a clash between these two bedrocks of modern physics regarding the destiny of information that plunges into a black hole. According to quantum mechanics, which governs particle behavior, information, the complete state of all particles involved, remains conserved. This implies that in principle, it should be feasible to track all particles' states and predict future states accurately. However, when viewed through the lens of general relativity, the classical understanding of black holes suggests that anything crossing the event horizon vanishes from the outside universe, along with any information it carried. This dichotomy creates a profound contradiction. Quantum mechanics asserts that information cannot vanish, yet the conventional notion of black holes implies that information becomes irretrievably lost upon crossing the event horizon. Stephen Hawking introduced the concept of Hawking radiation in the 1970s, demonstrating that black holes could emit radiation due to quantum effects near their event horizons. Initially, Hawking proposed that this radiation would be entirely random and devoid of any information about the material that fell into the black hole, further complicating the information paradox. At the heart of the paradox lies the fate of information regarding the physical state of objects that descend into a black hole. If a black hole evaporates entirely through Hawking radiation, with this radiation lacking information about the ingested material, it suggests information loss from the universe. This contravenes the quantum mechanical principle of information conservation, giving rise to the paradox. Physicists have put forth diverse solutions to reconcile the information paradox, yet none have garnered universal acceptance. These proposals range from the notion that information might be somehow encoded in Hawking radiation in an incomprehensible manner, to the hypothesis that it could endure in a hypothetical Planck scale remnant of the black hole, or even that it might be retained in a parallel universe or escape via a wormhole to another realm of space-time. How do black holes shape the formation of galaxies? Supermassive black holes, weighing millions to billions of times more than our sun, wield a profound influence on their cosmic surroundings. Although invisible in themselves, their presence is betrayed by the energetic phenomena surrounding them. The interplay between black holes and galaxies begins with the gravitational tug exerted by the black hole, which can attract gas and dust from the surrounding galaxy. As this material accumulates around the black hole, it forms a scorching spinning disk called an accretion disk. Friction and intense gravitational forces heat the disk to staggering temperatures, prompting it to emit copious amounts of radiation, spanning from visible light to X-rays and other electromagnetic waves. This process can regulate the birth of stars in the galaxy by heating and dispersing the gas that would otherwise cool and collapse to form new stars. Furthermore, the energy and jets discharged by the accretion process around supermassive black holes can wield a significant impact on their host galaxies. These jets can extend well beyond the galaxy's core, influencing the surrounding intergalactic medium and potentially curbing the inflow of gas into the galaxy, thus impacting its growth and the pace of star formation. This self-regulatory mechanism, wherein the black hole's activity can modulate the star formation rate, hints at a mutually beneficial relationship between black holes and their host galaxies. Observations have unveiled a correlation between the mass of the supermassive black hole at a galaxy's core and various properties of the galaxy itself, such as the mass of its bulge and the velocity dispersion of its stars. 
This correlation suggests that the expansion of supermassive black holes is intricately intertwined with the development of their host galaxies, though the specifics of this relationship remain an ongoing area of study. This is where it gets interesting. Could a black hole serve as a doorway to other universes? This idea, which straddles the realms of science, philosophy and science fiction, captivates the imagination. While mainstream science and current observations do not endorse the existence of such gateways, the concept garners theoretical support from speculative physics and advanced cosmological theories. At its core lies the singularity, the infinitesimally dense point within a black hole where gravity is believed to reach infinite levels. Certain theoretical models propose that the extreme conditions at the singularity might distort space-time in a manner that creates a bridge or tunnel known as a wormhole. Wormholes, envisioned by Einstein and others through solutions to the equations of general relativity, could theoretically link distant points in space-time, enabling travel between different universes or remote regions of our own universe. However, this idea presents significant challenges and uncertainties, Foremost among them is the formidable gravitational force near and within a black hole, which would likely annihilate any matter attempting to traverse it, rendering the notion of gateway travel highly speculative. Furthermore, the stability of wormholes poses a major hurdle. Theoretical models allowing for their existence often necessitate forms of matter or energy not known to exist, such as exotic matter with negative energy density, to sustain the wormhole's integrity. The concept of alternate universes itself remains a subject of theoretical exploration. Ideas like the multiverse theory posit that our universe might be just one among a vast array of universes comprising the multiverse. Each universe within this framework could harbor its own distinct laws of physics, constants and cosmic structures, exhibiting variations ranging from dramatic to subtle compared to our own universe. Yet direct evidence for such alternate universes remains elusive, relegating them to the realm of theoretical physics rather than empirical observation. Transitioning from the potential gateways to other universes, we embark on another enthralling and speculative journey, the exploration of multiverse theory. This hypothesis suggests that our universe with its myriad galaxies and seemingly boundless expanse might be just a single thread within the vast tapestry of the multiverse, each thread weaving its own unique cosmic tale. The multiverse theory arises from diverse realms of theoretical physics, drawing from interpretations of quantum mechanics, inflationary cosmology, and string theory. In one interpretation of quantum mechanics, the universe splinters into numerous parallel versions, branching into near-infinite realities with each quantum decision. This notion suggests the existence of countless universes where diverse versions of events unfold. Inflationary cosmology offers another pillar for the multiverse theory, proposing that the swift expansion of space post-Big Bang might have spawned disconnected space-time regions, each evolving into distinct universes. These universes could be endlessly abundant, with some potentially featuring vastly different physical laws and constants compared to our own. String theory, a framework aiming to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity further bolsters the notion of the multiverse. However, while general relativity's mathematics permit the existence of wormholes, empirical evidence supporting their existence remains elusive. The conditions near a black hole singularity, where quantum effects are anticipated to reign, elude comprehensive understanding. The fusion of quantum mechanics with general relativity crucial for comprehending singularities and the potential for wormholes, stands as one of the foremost challenges in theoretical physics. Delving deeper into the cosmos, we confront yet another intriguing question. Could our universe itself be ensconced within the confines of a black hole? This captivating concept interweaves notions of black holes, wormholes, and the universe's very fabric in an imaginative exploration pushing the boundaries of cosmology and theoretical physics. The idea that our universe might exist within a black hole is based on similarities between black holes and our universe as described by the theory of general relativity. Both are influenced by mass and energy, shaping the fabric of space-time. 
Black holes are regions where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape, a concept reminiscent of the dense starting point of our universe that expanded during the Big Bang. One intriguing possibility is that the singularities found at the center of black holes could somehow be connected to the birth of our universe. This leads to the speculation that our universe might be nested within a black hole, which itself could be part of a larger cosmos. If true, this idea suggests a kind of fractal multiverse where each black hole spawns its own universe. However, this concept faces significant scientific hurdles and is mostly theoretical. Understanding the conditions within a singularity is challenging because classical physics breaks down under such extreme circumstances. Quantum effects, which are crucial at tiny scales, are not fully integrated into general relativity. This gap highlights the need for a theory of quantum gravity to comprehend these extreme environments. Additionally, the observable universe appears to have specific characteristics, such as flatness and uniformity on large scales, which present further puzzles. The mechanics of how a universe could form inside a black hole and how we could observe it from within remain unanswered within current theories. While there's no direct evidence supporting the notion that we live inside a black hole, this idea emerges from intriguing aspects of physics and cosmology. It encourages us to contemplate the universe's nature and the mysteries it contains, even though it remains largely speculative for now. The idea of a universe within a black hole is primarily supported by theoretical speculation rather than concrete evidence. This idea stems from similarities between the extreme conditions at the singularity of a black hole, where density and gravity are believed to be infinite, and the hypothesized conditions of our universe during the Big Bang. Both scenarios involve intense density and the potential for rapid expansion, which has intrigued some theorists. Another theoretical basis for this concept comes from efforts to reconcile general relativity, which describes large-scale cosmic structures with quantum mechanics, which explains particle behavior at tiny scales. Certain solutions to the equations of general relativity propose that black holes might harbor regions where space-time curves back on itself, possibly creating pathways to other universes or facilitating the birth of new ones. These theoretical solutions prompt speculation about the nature of singularities, suggesting they might serve as gateways rather than mere endpoints. Moreover, observations of the universe's uniformity, flatness, and the distribution of cosmic microwave background radiation raise questions about its initial conditions, which some theorists argue could align with a black hole-like scenario. However, these observations can also be explained within the framework of cosmic inflation, a widely accepted model that doesn't necessitate the universe being inside a black hole. It's crucial to recognize that the idea of our universe existing within a black hole remains on the fringes of scientific discourse. The evidence supporting this concept is indirect and speculative, relying heavily on theoretical models yet to be empirically confirmed. The quest for a theory of quantum gravity, which could elucidate matter and space-time behavior under extreme conditions like those found in black holes and the Big Bang is ongoing. Such a theory holds promise for offering more definitive insights into these profound questions. Exploring the implications of living inside a black hole would deeply challenge our grasp of reality as defined by our current understanding of physics. Black holes, according to general relativity, dramatically distort space-time due to their immense gravitational pull. If our universe existed within such an environment, it suggests that the fabric of space-time itself behaves in ways vastly different from what we know. Firstly, the intense gravitational forces characteristic of black holes would likely have significant effects on the passage of time. Time dilation, a phenomenon where time moves slower in stronger gravitational fields, is a well-established consequence of relativity. Within a black hole, this effect could mean that time flows differently compared to what we experience in less extreme gravitational environments. However, since we would lack an external reference point, this altered perception of time might feel normal to us without any sense of it being unusual. Secondly, the extreme curvature of space-time near a black hole's singularity 
could alter our perception of the universe's structure and dimensions. In this environment, the conventional dimensions of space might behave in unconventional ways, leading to realities where straight lines appear curved and distances become distorted. Yet within the hypothetical scenario of our universe existing within a black hole, these conditions would shape the laws of physics and the cosmos as we observe them. Our understanding of science and mathematics would develop within this framework, making these unconventional conditions our standard for normalcy. Moreover, the concept of an event horizon within a black hole, a boundary beyond which information cannot escape, prompts intriguing questions about the limits of our observable universe. If our universe were nestled inside a black hole, the event horizon could represent the boundary of our observable universe itself. This boundary might constrain our ability to perceive and comprehend the entirety of our universe, confining our understanding of reality to what lies within this boundary. Delving into the connection between space-time curvature and black holes sheds light on how mass and energy can shape the fabric of the universe. Space-time curvature, a fundamental concept in general relativity, suggests that mass and energy can bend the four-dimensional continuum of space and time. This bending, or curvature, manifests as what we perceive as gravity. Instead of gravity being seen as a force acting over a distance, it's described as the consequence of this curvature influencing the motion of objects. The more massive an object, the greater its ability to warp the space-time around it. Black holes represent the epitome of such extreme curvature. They form when a massive star reaches the end of its life cycle and collapses under its own gravitational pull, condensing its mass into an infinitesimally small point called a singularity. According to general relativity, this singularity engenders an infinite curvature of space-time encapsulated by the event horizon, a boundary where the curvature is so intense that not even light can escape, rendering the black hole invisible to outside observers. Understanding space-time curvature is crucial in deciphering how black holes interact with their surroundings. For example, the intense curvature near a black hole's event horizon influences the trajectory of light and matter. Gravitational lensing, a phenomenon where light rays are bent by gravity, enables astronomers to indirectly detect black holes by observing their distortions of light from objects behind them. Furthermore, the curvature of space-time around a black hole has significant implications for the passage of time. Time dilation, a direct consequence of space-time curvature, results in time moving slower in stronger gravitational fields. Near a black hole's event horizon, this effect becomes so pronounced that time would seem to come to a standstill from the perspective of an observer at a distance. This intricate relationship between space-time curvature and black holes not only underscores the predictive capability of general relativity, but also highlights the ongoing challenges confronting physicists. The singularity at the core of a black hole, where space-time curvature becomes infinite, represents a realm where the known laws of physics break down, posing intriguing puzzles for scientific exploration. The quest for a theory of quantum gravity is spurred by the need to reconcile general relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics, offering a unified understanding of reality even under the most extreme conditions. Beyond the realm of space-time curvature around black holes lies another captivating concept, the cosmic censorship hypothesis. Proposed by Roger Penrose in 1969, this hypothesis is a cornerstone of theoretical physics, delving into the nature of singularities, those points of infinite density and gravity predicted by general relativity to reside at the centers of black holes. At its core, the cosmic censorship hypothesis suggests that the universe conceals naked singularities, ensuring they remain hidden from external observation. In simpler terms, the hypothesis posits that every singularity, except potentially the one at the universe's inception, is veiled within an event horizon, a black hole's boundary beyond which not even light can escape. This shielding mechanism safeguards the predictive power of general relativity by preventing the extreme conditions and breakdown of physical laws at singularities from being exposed to the wider universe. Outside the event horizon, 
two main versions of the cosmic censorship hypothesis are debated, the weak and the strong forms. The weak version maintains that singularities resulting from gravitational collapse are always cloaked within black holes, rendering them inaccessible to distant observers. While this version allows for the theoretical possibility of an observer encountering a singularity by falling into a black hole, it asserts that such an encounter would have no impact on the universe beyond the event horizon. The strong cosmic censorship hypothesis takes a bold stance, proposing that singularities aren't just concealed from distant observers, but are fundamentally unobservable because the laws of physics, as described by general relativity, seamlessly predict the universe's evolution without interruption. Essentially, it suggests a deterministic universe where the behavior of physical systems can be forecasted under all circumstances, except for the singularity that potentially birthed the universe itself. Shifting gears, let's explore how black holes merge and what this phenomenon reveals about our universe. When two of these incredibly dense objects draw close and begin orbiting each other due to gravitational attraction, they set the stage for a merger. As they orbit, they emit gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time as predicted by Einstein's general relativity, which steadily sap their energy. This loss of energy causes the black holes to spiral inward, eventually culminating in a dramatic collision and merger, forming a single, larger black hole. The final stages of this cosmic dance unfold rapidly, releasing an immense amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves. The detection of these gravitational waves has ushered in a new era of understanding our universe. In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory made history by directly observing gravitational waves from the merger of two black holes. This groundbreaking observation provided compelling evidence for the existence of black holes and underscored the dynamic nature of space-time, unveiling a previously unseen facet of the cosmos. These groundbreaking observations validated a crucial prediction of general relativity and heralded the dawn of gravitational wave astronomy. Black hole mergers offer profound insights into our universe. Firstly, they affirm that black holes can exist in pairs and groups, hinting at their prevalence within galaxies. Many galaxies, including our own Milky Way, are believed to harbor supermassive black holes at their cores. The detection of merging black holes provides valuable clues about galactic history, shedding light on their formation and evolutionary trajectories. When galaxies collide, a common occurrence on the cosmic scale, their central black holes may eventually coalesce, reshaping the galaxy's nucleus and influencing its future evolution. Furthermore, studying gravitational waves emitted during black hole mergers yields crucial information about black hole properties, such as their masses and spin rates, and offers insights into the nature of gravity itself. By scrutinizing the characteristics of these waves, scientists can rigorously test the predictions of general relativity under extreme conditions, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of fundamental physics and exploring the potential for new insights beyond Einstein's theory. Gravitational waves also introduce a novel approach to observing the universe. Unlike electromagnetic radiation such as light, which can be absorbed or scattered, gravitational waves traverse matter almost unimpeded, providing a pristine window into events otherwise obscured, such as black hole mergers. This novel observational tool complements traditional telescopes, empowering astronomers to investigate cosmic phenomena invisible to the naked eye, unraveling the enigmas of the cosmos with unprecedented clarity. As we continue our exploration of the universe, we delve into the intriguing connection between two enigmatic phenomena, gravitational waves and dark matter, with a special focus on their interaction with black holes. Dark matter, an invisible substance that doesn't emit, absorb or reflect light, makes up about 85% of the total mass of the universe. We can't directly see dark matter, but we know it exists because of its gravitational effects on stars, galaxies, and the bending of light, which we call gravitational lensing. Understanding how dark matter and black holes interact is a major area of study in astrophysics. Although dark matter doesn't interact with light, 
It does have gravitational influence, which means it can affect black holes and be affected by them. One significant way they interact is through a process called accretion. Just as black holes pull in regular matter from their surroundings, they can also accumulate dark matter. When dark matter particles get close enough to a black hole, its strong gravitational pull captures them, increasing the black hole's mass. This interaction is fascinating because it could offer insights into the nature of dark matter, a profound mystery in physics. The presence of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies might play a role in shaping the distribution of dark matter in galaxies and larger cosmic structures. These black holes could act as collectors for dark matter, changing how it's distributed around them. Furthermore, the detection of black hole mergers through gravitational waves offers a unique window into the distribution of dark matter across the universe. By studying the environments where these mergers occur, scientists can gain valuable insights into how dark matter is spread throughout the cosmos. There's also speculation that dark matter might have influenced the growth of black holes, especially during the early stages of the universe. In the early universe, regions with high concentrations of dark matter could have served as ideal breeding grounds for the formation and rapid expansion of black holes. This interaction between dark matter and black holes in the early cosmos could shed light on the origins of supermassive black holes, such as the ones found at the centers of galaxies like our Milky Way. Transitioning from theoretical discussions to more speculative realms, we ponder the concept of a civilization advanced enough to manipulate black holes. This exploration takes us to the frontier of astrophysics and hypothetical engineering, where the boundaries of current scientific knowledge intersect with visions of future potentialities. Envisioning a civilization capable of harnessing and controlling black holes necessitates considering monumental advancements in energy utilization, control mechanisms, and technological prowess far beyond our current capabilities. Such a civilization might even rank as a Type II or III on the Kardashev scale, a theoretical framework that classifies civilizations based on their ability to harness energy, ranging from local planetary levels to cosmic scales. Manipulating black holes holds vast potential for various purposes, ranging from extracting energy on a cosmic scale similar to a Dyson sphere, harnessing energy from a black hole's accretion disk, to potentially creating or stabilizing wormholes for faster-than-light travel or instant communication across vast distances in space. These ideas, grounded in the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics, present significant challenges and theoretical advancements necessary to translate them into practical applications. For instance, extracting energy from black holes could provide civilizations with an almost unimaginable power source due to the immense energy released as matter accelerates and heats up before crossing the event horizon. Moreover, manipulating gravitational waves generated by black hole mergers could lead to innovative methods of communication or propulsion by exploiting the very fabric of space-time itself. The concept of using black holes as gateways through wormholes suggests bending space-time to create shortcuts across the universe, which would revolutionize travel and communication, but require an unparalleled understanding of space-time, gravity, and quantum mechanics. The unique environment surrounding black holes also presents opportunities for advanced computational processes or data storage, leveraging extreme gravitational forces and the principles of quantum information theory. However, achieving such feats would demand technologies capable of withstanding extreme energy and gravitational conditions without succumbing to destruction. Exploring black holes raises important ethical considerations regarding our responsibility as a species when engaging with fundamental aspects of the universe. Black holes, with their extraordinary gravitational effects, are integral to the cosmic balance and the evolution of galaxies. Interfering with or attempting to manipulate these entities could have unforeseen consequences, potentially impacting not just local cosmic dynamics, but the stability of the universe itself. The precautionary principle advises caution in the absence of a complete understanding of the consequences. Pursuing technologies for exploring or manipulating black holes prompts questions about equitable access and regulation. 
Who would control these powerful tools, and how would their use be overseen? The risk of misuse or unintended outcomes underscores the need for global dialogue and international agreements to ensure responsible advancement for the benefit of all humanity, rather than privileging a select few. Another ethical concern revolves around the potential risks inherent in interacting with black holes. Theoretical proposals like sending probes into black holes or harvesting energy from them come with significant uncertainties. Assessing the safety of such missions, the possibility of triggering unforeseen events, and the moral implications of altering natural cosmic processes require careful deliberation. Balancing the pursuit of scientific knowledge against these risks prompts reflection on our place in the cosmos. It raises philosophical inquiries into the boundaries of human ambition, the essence of existence, and our obligations not only to Earth and its inhabitants, but to the wider universe. As we venture into the unknown, we must consider the legacy we wish to leave and the role we aspire to play as cosmic citizens. Our ability to study black holes is limited by the unique characteristics of these cosmic entities. Black holes, by their very nature, do not allow any light to escape beyond their event horizon, making direct observation impossible with existing technology. To overcome this hurdle, scientists employ indirect methods such as observing the effects of a black hole's immense gravity on nearby stars and gas. For example, the presence of accretion disks, rings of gas and dust swirling around black holes, offers clues to their existence. While these methods provide valuable insights, they only scratch the surface of the intricate behaviors of black holes and their immediate surroundings. Another challenge lies in the capabilities of our telescopes. Despite recent advancements like the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, which managed to capture the silhouette of a black hole against its accretion disk, such observations demand global coordination and the synchronization of radio telescopes worldwide. Although the EHT's success in imaging the black hole in the M87 galaxy marked a significant breakthrough, it also highlighted the current limitations of our observational tools. Further detailed imaging or observing smaller or more distant black holes remains unattainable with our present technology. Gravitational wave astronomy, enabled by facilities like LIGO, has emerged as a promising avenue for black hole research. By detecting the ripples in space-time caused by merging black holes, this technology offers a new perspective. However, it too has constraints. Existing gravitational wave detectors are most sensitive to specific mass ranges and merger frequencies, potentially missing some mergers, particularly those involving very large or very small black holes. Improving the sensitivity and expanding the frequency range of gravitational wave observatories is crucial for future advancements. Moreover, the vast distances to many black holes pose a significant logistical challenge. Studying black hole systems billions of light years away poses significant technical challenges, even with advanced telescopes. The faint signals from these distant regions often get obscured or weakened by cosmic dust, gas and other interference sources. Moreover, our understanding of black hole physics, particularly at the crossroads of general relativity and quantum mechanics, remains incomplete. This theoretical gap hampers our ability to design experiments and observations that could fully unlock the mysteries of black holes. Progress in theoretical physics combined with technological breakthroughs is essential for pushing the boundaries of black hole research. So, why does studying black holes matter in other scientific fields? In physics, exploring black holes pushes the boundaries of our understanding of fundamental forces and particles. The intense gravitational forces near black holes, where space-time curvature peaks, offer a unique testing ground for theories like Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics. The ongoing interplay between these two foundational theories aims to discover a unified framework that explains the universe's behavior across all scales. Discoveries from black hole research drive the quest for quantum gravity, a theory seeking to merge quantum mechanics with cosmic phenomena into a cohesive whole. Additionally, black holes profoundly influence thermodynamics through concepts like Hawking radiation, which proposes that black holes emit radiation 
due to quantum effects near their event horizons. This phenomenon challenges conventional ideas about entropy and information, leading to fresh insights into the thermodynamics of black holes and sparking debates about the fate of information in the cosmos. These discussions spill over into the realm of information theory, probing how information is stored and transformed across the universe. The detection of gravitational waves from merging black holes has revolutionized astronomy, providing a new perspective on the cosmos. Gravitational wave astronomy enables the observation of cosmic events invisible in traditional electromagnetic spectra, shedding light on stellar life cycles, galaxy formation, and the universe's early stages. This novel observational approach has profound implications for cosmology, offering a new means to measure the universe's expansion rate and test theories about its structure and evolution. Moreover, the study of black holes intersects with computational science, as simulating their intricate dynamics and interactions with surrounding matter demands sophisticated algorithms and massive computational resources. These endeavors not only deepen our understanding of black holes, but also drive advancements in computational techniques and technologies. In philosophy and theoretical science, black holes provoke contemplation about the nature of reality, time and space. They challenge our conceptual frameworks and prompt a deeper exploration of the fundamental principles underlying our comprehension of the universe. This philosophical exploration informs scientific theory guiding researchers in framing their inquiries and interpretations of observational data. It's crucial to dispel the misunderstandings that often shroud public perception of black holes. Despite their significance in both scientific exploration and popular culture, black holes suffer from common misconceptions, blurring the line between fact and fiction in the collective mind. Clarifying these misconceptions not only enhances our comprehension, but also underscores the remarkable attributes of black holes as uncovered by contemporary astrophysics. One prevalent misunderstanding revolves around the notion that black holes function as cosmic vacuums, ceaselessly devouring all nearby matter. Contrary to this belief, black holes exert gravitational forces akin to other celestial bodies of similar mass. They don't actively pull matter any more aggressively than, say, a star of comparable mass would. Matter only succumbs to a black hole's pull if it ventures extremely close to the event horizon, the point beyond which escape becomes impossible. Otherwise, celestial bodies like planets, stars and gas clouds can orbit black holes safely without being engulfed, much like Earth orbits the Sun. Another common misconception involves the perception of black holes as infinitely dense voids within the fabric of space-time. While it's accurate that the density within a black hole's singularity, where all its mass is presumed to be concentrated, is incredibly high, characterizing black holes as voids is misleading. They are better understood as exceedingly dense entities with potent gravitational fields. The term hole originates from their incapacity to emit light, rendering them invisible against the cosmic backdrop rather than suggesting a literal void in space. There's also a misconception regarding the visibility of black holes. Many assume black holes are entirely invisible, whereas the regions surrounding them can be some of the brightest objects in the universe. As matter cascades toward a black hole, it heats up and emits intense radiation before reaching the event horizon. This process can give rise to luminous accretion disks and formidable jets observable across vast cosmic distances, effectively rendering black holes indirectly visible to astronomers. Some people think that nothing, not even information, can escape from a black hole. However, according to theoretical work, notably by Stephen Hawking, black holes emit radiation called Hawking radiation because of quantum effects near their edge, known as the event horizon. This radiation allows black holes to lose mass over time, which suggests a way for energy and information to escape, although it's transformed a lot. This idea challenges the belief that black holes are forever traps for matter and energy. Also in science fiction, black holes are often depicted as openings to other universes or dimensions, which has led to misunderstandings. While there are theories about wormholes and the structure of space-time, 
that allow for speculation about connections to other parts of the universe or even a multiverse, current scientific knowledge doesn't support the idea of using black holes as pathways for traveling between stars or dimensions. These ideas are firmly within the realm of theoretical physics and lack empirical evidence to prove they exist or are practical. Let's explore another intriguing topic, how black holes influence science fiction. In science fiction, black holes are often shown as gateways or portals, even though this concept isn't supported by real science. However, it serves as a powerful narrative tool. The notion of journeying through a black hole to distant corners of the cosmos or to other dimensions and parallel universes captures our fascination with exploration and the unknown. It offers a thrilling shortcut to far-off reaches of space and the chance to encounter alternative realities. The extreme conditions near black holes also provide a backdrop for exploring the limits of human endurance and technology in science fiction. Stories may feature spacecraft grappling with the intense gravitational forces and time distortions near a black hole, facing the danger of being pulled past the event horizon. These narratives delve into the physical and psychological trials of characters in these extreme settings, reflecting broader themes of resilience, survival, and the human spirit's determination. In science fiction, black holes serve as a platform to explore deep philosophical and existential inquiries. The idea of time freezing at the event horizon, the enigma of what lies within a black hole, and the concept of information being lost or transformed all act as symbols for larger questions about existence, reality, and humanity's position in the vastness of the universe. Science fiction leverages these themes to probe into matters of identity, the essence of consciousness, and the boundaries of scientific comprehension. The portrayal of black holes in science fiction often mirrors current scientific knowledge and speculation, albeit with creative liberties. As our understanding of black holes advances, so does their depiction in fictional works, moving from fantastical imaginings of cosmic vortexes to more nuanced representations grounded in relativistic physics and quantum mechanics. This dynamic relationship between science and fiction enriches both realms with science fiction frequently foreshadowing or stimulating scientific exploration and breakthroughs. Looking ahead, Let's consider upcoming missions aimed at studying black holes. Among the most highly anticipated endeavors is the ongoing work of the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT project. Following its groundbreaking achievement of capturing the first ever image of a black hole's event horizon in the galaxy M87, the EHT collaboration intends to refine its methods and expand its network of radio telescopes. The objective is to produce higher resolution images of black holes and potentially capture dynamic events near the event horizon, such as the infall of matter or the emission of particle jets. Another notable mission on the horizon is the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, a space-based observatory for gravitational waves led by the European Space Agency, ESA. Scheduled for launch in the early 2030s, LISA aims to detect gravitational waves emanating from the merger of supermassive black holes at the cores of galaxies, among other cosmic phenomena. By observing gravitational waves within a lower frequency range than Earth-based detectors like LIGO and Virgo, LISA promises to provide fresh insights into the dynamics of black hole mergers across a broader spectrum of masses and distances. NASA's Athena Advanced Telescope for High Energy Astrophysics, set to launch in the early 2030s, represents another significant mission focused on unraveling the mysteries surrounding black holes. Athena will boast a sizable X-ray telescope tailored to scrutinize the hot and energetic realms of the universe. Its mission includes observing the vast structures and the dynamic behaviors of supermassive black holes aiming to illuminate the processes through which these cosmic giants grow and exert influence on their surrounding galaxies. The ongoing operation and future enhancements of current space-based observatories like the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope alongside ground-based telescopes will be pivotal in advancing black hole research. These observatories will continue furnishing essential data concerning the behavior of matter near black holes the characteristics of black hole jets 
and the distribution of stellar mass black holes within our Milky Way galaxy. As emerging technologies and theoretical advancements progress, they may pave the way for innovative mission concepts capable of directly probing the environments surrounding black holes or employing novel observation techniques. For instance, utilizing the effects of black holes on the cosmic microwave background radiation could offer insights into their fundamental properties. Delving into the universe's origins naturally sparks fascinating inquiries into the Big Bang and its potential relationships with black holes. The Big Bang theory, the prevailing model in cosmology, depicts the universe's inception as an explosive event originating from an infinitely dense and hot state, expanding over time to give rise to the cosmos we inhabit today. This primordial singularity shares conceptual parallels with the singularities believed to reside at the cores of black holes, where both density and gravitational forces are presumed to be infinite. The comparison between the singularity at the center of a black hole and the initial state of the Big Bang is intriguing, but poses complex challenges within our understanding of physics. In simple terms, according to general relativity, a black hole's singularity is a point where gravitational forces crush matter into an infinitely small point with infinite density. This might sound similar to the initial state of the Big Bang, where the universe began from an extremely dense and hot state. However, there are important differences that prevent a direct comparison. Firstly, in the Big Bang theory, there isn't an event horizon surrounding the singularity like in a black hole. The universe's expansion from the Big Bang wasn't confined within a pre-existing space. Instead, it expanded into what became space-time itself. Secondly, our understanding of physics breaks down at singularities, whether in the Big Bang or black holes. However, the processes involved are different. The universe's evolution from the Big Bang involved the expansion of space-time, cooling and the formation of matter, stars, galaxies, and the large-scale structure of the cosmos. This is unlike the inward collapse and accretion seen in black hole formation. There are also speculative theories suggesting our universe could be inside a black hole in a higher dimensional space. However, these ideas go beyond our current empirical evidence and delve into theoretical physics, involving concepts like string theory and attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. Yet, without direct empirical support, these theories remain speculative. Let's explore whether black holes can help unravel the mystery of the universe's missing mass. This mystery, often termed the dark matter problem, is a major puzzle in astrophysics today. When we study how galaxies spin and how galaxy clusters move, we find that there's much more mass in the universe than what we can see with our eyes. This unseen mass doesn't emit light like regular matter does, but it still affects how stars and galaxies move due to its gravitational pull. The question of whether black holes can shed light on this mystery is fascinating because it connects the mysterious nature of black holes with the bigger mysteries of the cosmos. Black holes, especially the supermassive ones found at the centers of galaxies, do add to the overall mass of those galaxies. However, even when we consider both the smaller black holes formed from dying stars and these supermassive ones, their combined mass doesn't explain all the missing mass we observe. This leads scientists to think that while black holes play a role in a galaxy's mass, they're not the main solution to the dark matter problem. The leading idea for dark matter is a type of matter that doesn't interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible. We think it's made up of particles we haven't discovered yet, possibly existing beyond what we know in particle physics. Scientists have proposed various theoretical particles like WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles and axions, but we haven't directly detected any of them so far. To understand dark matter better, scientists are conducting experiments. Some experiments aim to directly detect dark matter particles interacting with regular matter in very sensitive detectors. Others look for the byproducts of dark matter interactions or decays in space. Additionally, scientists use large-scale simulations of the universe to study how dark matter's distribution affects how galaxies form and evolve. They then compare these simulations with observations 
to test different theories about dark matter. Let's explore whether black holes can help unravel the mystery of the universe's missing mass. This mystery, often termed the dark matter problem, is a major puzzle in astrophysics today. When we study how galaxies spin and how galaxy clusters move, we find that there's much more mass in the universe than what we can see with our eyes. This unseen mass doesn't emit light like regular matter does, but it still affects how stars and galaxies move due to its gravitational pull. The question of whether black holes can shed light on this mystery is fascinating because it connects the mysterious nature of black holes with the bigger mysteries of the cosmos. Black holes, especially the supermassive ones found at the centers of galaxies, do add to the overall mass of those galaxies. However, even when we consider both the smaller black holes formed from dying stars and these supermassive ones, their combined mass doesn't explain all the missing mass we observe. This leads scientists to think that while black holes play a role in a galaxy's mass, they're not the main solution to the dark matter problem. The leading idea for dark matter is a type of matter that doesn't interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible. We think it's made up of particles we haven't discovered yet, possibly existing beyond what we know in particle physics. Scientists have proposed various theoretical particles, like WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, and axions, but we haven't directly detected any of them so far. To understand dark matter better, scientists are conducting experiments. Some experiments aim to directly detect dark matter particles interacting with regular matter in very sensitive detectors. Others look for the byproducts of dark matter interactions or decays in space. Additionally, scientists use large-scale simulations of the universe to study how dark matter's distribution affects how galaxies form and evolve. They then compare these simulations with observations to test different theories about dark matter. Although black holes themselves don't directly solve the mystery of the universe's missing mass, delving into their study offers profound insights into the cosmos. For instance, when we detect gravitational waves from black hole mergers, we gain fresh perspectives on black hole characteristics and test the limits of general relativity in extreme scenarios. These breakthroughs, in turn, deepen our grasp of cosmic structures and evolution, indirectly aiding the quest for dark matter by enhancing our understanding of the universe's overall mass distribution and behavior. Shifting focus from mass, let's explore how black holes contribute to the universe's expansion. Their role in this cosmic expansion is more indirect. Unlike dark energy, which accelerates the universe's expansion, black holes are part of the universe's matter-energy makeup. According to general relativity, this collective energy density encompassing dark energy, dark matter, ordinary matter, including black holes, shapes the universe's dynamics. This influence on expansion rates is mathematically described by the Friedman equations, solutions to Einstein's field equations of general relativity. We might ponder the impact of supermassive black holes residing at galaxies' cores on cosmic structures and evolution. These black holes can shape the formation and progression of galaxies, fundamental components of the universe's large-scale framework. While they don't directly steer space-time expansion, their gravitational sway affects matter distribution and galactic clustering over cosmic timescales. Moreover, interactions like matter accretion and subsequent radiation emission from black holes can inject energy into their surroundings. This process can mold star formation and galaxy evolution, indirectly shaping the universe's large-scale structure, albeit on much smaller scales than universal expansion. Gravitational wave detections from merging black holes by observatories like LIGO and Virgo offer a novel lens to explore the cosmos. While these observations primarily probe local space-time behavior and gravity, they also enrich our comprehension of the universe's broader properties, including its expansion history. By scrutinizing the prevalence and distribution of black hole mergers across the cosmos, astronomers glean insights into the saga of galaxy formation and evolution, intricately entwined with the universe's expansion story. Let's delve into the role of black holes in cosmic recycling. When stars, especially massive ones, reach the end of their life cycle, they can collapse into black holes under their own gravitational pull. 
This collapse triggers supernova explosions, releasing material into space and contributing to the cosmic recycling of matter. The ejected material enriches the interstellar medium with heavier elements, which can then coalesce to form new stars, planets and celestial bodies. Thus black holes act as catalysts in the cycle of stellar evolution and death, indirectly shaping the composition and distribution of matter in galaxies. Supermassive black holes at the hearts of galaxies play a more direct role in cosmic recycling. They consume vast amounts of gas and dust from their surroundings, emitting intense radiation as they do so. This radiation exerts pressure on surrounding gas, generating galactic winds that disperse material across the galaxy. These winds can both inhibit and stimulate star formation by clearing away gas or causing it to compress in certain regions. Consequently, supermassive black holes help regulate the pace of star formation in galaxies, impacting their growth and evolution. Additionally, the high-speed jets of particles ejected from regions surrounding black holes inject energy into the intergalactic medium, dispersing matter over vast distances. This distribution of matter and energy plays a critical role in shaping the universe's large-scale structure and seeding areas for future generations of stars and galaxies. Furthermore, black holes contribute to cosmic recycling through interactions with other black holes and stellar objects. For instance, during galactic mergers, the central supermassive black holes can eventually merge as well, emitting gravitational waves and potentially flinging stars and material out into space. This redistribution of matter adds another dimension to the intricate process of cosmic recycling. As we approach the end of our exploration, what experiments could probe the theory of existence within a black hole? Thanks to strides in computer technology, researchers can now simulate the intricate dynamics of black holes, even imagining the environment near and possibly inside them. Although these simulations remain theoretical, they offer valuable insights into how information might behave in the vicinity of a black hole, edging closer to the speculative notion of communication from within to the outer universe. The pursuit of Hawking radiation, a theoretical emission proposed by Stephen Hawking, serves as a testament to the quest for understanding quantum effects at the event horizon. Detecting this radiation would represent a significant stride in bridging quantum mechanics and general relativity, providing indirect evidence supporting the intricate nature of black holes and potentially unraveling aspects of the universe's fabric. Observational studies of black hole accretion disks facilitated by high-resolution imaging techniques like those employed by the Event Horizon Telescope, offer scientists glimpses into the regions surrounding black holes. By decoding the behavior of matter under the gravitational influence of a black hole, these observations offer clues to the extreme conditions encountered by any observer venturing near or into a black hole. In tandem with empirical endeavors, Theoretical progress in quantum gravity aims to reconcile the microscopic realm of quantum mechanics with the macroscopic domain of general relativity. This theoretical pursuit is crucial for grasping the true essence of singularities and the event horizon, laying the groundwork for potential testing of hypotheses regarding the universe's structure and the mysterious role of black holes. The groundbreaking detection of gravitational waves resulting from the merger of two black holes, achieved by LIGO and Virgo, has offered tangible evidence of these cosmic entities and deepened our understanding of their characteristics. This discovery not only validated a key prediction of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, but also ushered in a new era of cosmic exploration, granting us unprecedented insights into the universe. The observation of gravitational waves marks a monumental feat in physics, sparking a revitalized enthusiasm for astrophysics and the broader study of the cosmos. Additionally, the remarkable high-resolution image of the black hole in the galaxy M87, captured by the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration, represents another significant milestone. It provided humanity's first-ever glimpse of a black hole's shadow bringing these enigmatic entities from the realm of theory to visual reality. This achievement has not only offered fresh perspectives on black holes, but has also ignited widespread public and scientific intrigue. 
Theoretical advancements in understanding black holes, epitomized by Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking prediction of Hawking radiation, underscore the ongoing interplay between quantum mechanics and general relativity. These theoretical dialogues deepen our comprehension of black holes and propel the quest for a unified theory of physics capable of elucidating the universe across all scales. Moreover, the role of black holes in cosmic recycling, from their genesis in the dramatic collapse of massive stars to their influence on galaxy formation, underscores the interconnected nature of cosmic phenomena. This recognition fosters a holistic perspective of the universe and underscores the significance of interdisciplinary approaches in unraveling its mysteries. For the future scientists, black holes represent the epitome of the unknown and the unexplored, embodying the essence of scientific inquiry itself. The complexities inherent in comprehending black holes and their extreme environments present boundless opportunities for innovation across technology, observation methodologies, and theoretical frameworks. Engaging with the mysteries of black holes instills invaluable lessons in persistence, ingenuity, and the importance of challenging established paradigms, molding not just the future generation of scientists, but also reshaping our understanding of the universe. As we stand on the cusp of cosmic revelation, peering into the abyss of black holes, we are confronted with the immensity of the cosmos and our insignificance within it. These enigmatic entities not only defy our grasp of physics, but also challenge our notions of reality, time, and existence itself. What enigmas do black holes harbor regarding the universe's inception and destiny? How do they sculpt the cosmic tableau and the very fabric of space-time? The quest for enlightenment about black holes transcends mere scientific inquiry. It is a voyage into the essence of being, urging us to probe the fundamental nature of reality and our place in the grand scheme of the universe. Could black holes, with their unfathomable might and mystique, serve as portals to alternate universes, concealed dimensions, or unseen cosmic forces that govern existence? What profound insights might they offer regarding the origins of the cosmos and the ultimate fate of all things? We'll end it off there. Thank you so much for watching yet another Space Drift documentary. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.